Hey there guys, welcome back to another one of my kit videos. A little bit different in this one. Um, I kind of sold everything. Um, by that I mean my beloved G&G &G rifles. Uh, I've sold them both uh, following a really good weekend out with both of them at Division 22 Airsoft. Um, so why have I sold all my assault rifles? Well... So, uh, my, my bugbears were with my jack build. It was a nice short 7-inch build, and it had the jack in it, which is an open bolt system. It's lovely and fast, electro, you know, got some three-round burst and full auto if you want it. it. It was everything I needed it to be for, for the gun that it was. Flicks three sixes, no problem at all. But it just bugged me that little bit that it was an open bolt. It was 7-inch. It wasn't massively well suited to being outdoors. Bearing in mind that a lot of my indoor play tends to go through my high cappers. But then I had the Kythera, the DMR. Which feeds incredible with heavier ammo. Which you kind of struggle with a lot of um, Kythera builds. I put the slower metering screw in it. Nice long barrel. It was quite a long rifle. Didn't stack very well as a basic AR though. Because of the pressure that it needed to cycle. Um, and I don't know. It just, just kind of didn't tick the right box for me you know when i did want to run it at ar levels i didn't have full auto so i was kind of missing that although it was closed bolt so i did have long range accuracy so i sold them sold everything and then i've replaced it with one of these this is the wolverine airsoft mtw this is the 10 inch sbr version uh, it is the billet not the forged but it is the tactical version so the tactical version to my knowledge gets a slightly nicer um, kind of muzzle at this end uh, it has a slightly different grip here and it has this really funky stock at the back because I, I didn't really i don't really like the stock one the standard versions so uh, i would have ended up buying a stock anyway and I, I quite like this one the fact that it comes with it you don't have to muck about i quite like the grip on here we are still whoop, you know kind of single-sided we're not ambi because those who are kind of fairly regular on my channel now know that i don't particularly like ambi guns uh and then what i've done is i put the red dot on it from my dmr and then up that lovely invictus rail there we have the silverback suppressor which pretty much takes the entire frame on its own so why have i done this so uh reasons that i've i've bought into the mtw platform number one all my friends use them and they say it's awesome number two um quite a popular airsofter um youtube airsofter cam man uses one and uses it how i want to use this so i'm not going to be dmr on it i'm not going to be running it at like 450 fps or whatever the 0.2 joule equivalent is and you know kind of rinsing people because it is just an m4 it's an m4 build they're not really a dmr it's airsoft but nah whatever but what he does is he runs his uh at you know kind of 1.14 joules which is the uk assault rifle full auto limit kind of thing which most sites use and he uses his with 0.4 gram ammo so and it and it reaches out it's really quiet so the pressure stays low something which this will have over the jack build is its efficiency so because the, the pressure levels are that bit lower the engine overall is a little bit more efficient than what the jack is so i'll be able to get more shots out of it it is quieter because of that it's kind of the the engine in here with it being the inferno gen 2 it's kind of like an f2 engine so i'm going to gain that from it um it is an open hybrid bolt so first shot is uh you don't have the the dry first fire but you do get all the advantage of it being closed bolt as well for the for the rest of the time and then the rail length so the seven inch rail didn't particularly suit me for outdoor i don't think it looked the part outdoor and my dmr rail was kind of out to here plus it, the, the suppressor and I'm only a small guy, so I kind of struggled a little bit with the length and the DMR. So this kind of, uh, sorry, on the SRXL, my DMR build. So this kind of ticks every box. So um, it's not going to be like an unbox or anything. I'm just kind of showing you what I've done. I've bought this. I sold a load of stuff and I bought this instead. Uh, Personalisation, yep, I've done a scope, uh, well, a red dot, and I've done a suppressor. Further customization upgrades, I'm going to put a PDI barrel in. That is on order with the amazing high capper hub. Thank you, Kyle, for getting one of those on order for me. Uh, 
And that's about it. I'm going to run it because everyone says that MTWs just run well. So let's see how we go. I will do a bit more of a video when I start to take this thing apart and I put the barrel in. Uh, you can see me break a very nice expensive gun when I do that for absolutely no reason other than just the want and need to do it. Uh, but yeah, so we have a new journey, a new project gun, kind of. Hopefully a finished project gun after one upgrade, which is never the case. I do have my eye on the Prometheus Firm Blue. So let's see where we go with it, guys. Thank you very much if you're still with me. Short one this week, but I will catch you in the next one.